Hi there. I'm going to demonstrate a capability that we've introduced as a preview feature in Stig Manager 1.2.5. The feature is asset labels. To work with asset labels, you need to begin by managing a collection. And I've got some demonstration collection data showing right now. So look, I've opened up this collection. I noticed that there's a new tab in the collection uh, properties area called labels. From here, I can make a new label. For the demonstration, let's assume these labels are used to identify the responsibility or the group that is responsible. I am having troubles spelling. Responsible for uh, evaluating, say, a set of assets. So I have a label now named red team. Doesn't do me a whole lot till I start tagging some assets with that label. I can do it this way, I can do that in a, in a batch. And I've now tagged some assets with this label, red team, which has a blue background, not ideal. We can in fact edit the color of our label. I have some choices there. So let's make the red team label red and you see that carries through in the UI. I could also go to an individual asset and add labels to it uh, while I'm configuring the properties of that asset. Now that I have a label for this collection, when I hover over this collection in the navigation tree, or if I select it, you see I have a little icon here which indicates there's a menu available. This menu will allow me to filter the navigation tree uh, so that I only see assets and stigs that apply to that uh, label. So if I apply it now, uh, I didn't actually see anything change there because I didn't have this these nodes expanded. Let me expand the assets node. It will turn off the label. Right? So there's all the assets in our collection. That's what you've seen up till now. Uh, the preview feature now lets you uh, filter your assets based on a label. Same thing with the stick nodes. Right? If I turn this off, you'll see our tree expands fully to, to include all the assets in the collection. And if I filter, I get a subset of that. Uh, I can also delete a label. If I delete a label, it goes away from everywhere. Our tree goes back to uh, not being filterable by label. I also have a collection, a demonstration collection here where I have a few more labels. Uh, and one thing I want to point out here is we have some labels that aren't attached to any assets or not no assets are tagged with that label. That's what this column is showing, how many assets have been tagged with a particular label. So for this collection, when I pull down the navigation tree filter menu, I don't get shown the orange team label because it's not actually uh, attached to any, any assets or tagged to any assets. I'm still getting used to the terminology around this feature. Uh, so just as I showed you before, we can filter this collection. What I didn't show you was that we could filter on more than one label if we want. So that's now the, the combination of uh, assets that have either of those labels. It, it's not uh, an and, it's an or. Uh, let's see what else could I could I show you. Labels are also carried through now in many of the grids where asset is displayed. There is this label column, and where there's a label column, almost always you can filter that column based on uh, one or more of the labels that are present. Right. So uh, same notion here. I could I could turn off. Uh, I could turn on say just database. Yeah. Let, let me move the menu a little over, and. You'll notice I do end up though with some red team and some blue team uh, labeled assets. And that's again, because this is an or. All, all that was necessary for an asset to pass this filter was that it had the database label. It's okay that it had some other labels as well. Right? So labels are shown there. They're shown when you are actually performing a review. Right here, I'm gonna give myself a little more screen real estate. I enlarge the interface for these videos. Uh, so labels are available here when you look at other assets. Again, it's, it's uh, filterable. Uh, the labels shown uh, also for the asset that you are reviewing. 
Uh, where else do we have that? Uh, if we look at a particular, if we want, in fact, to review an entire set of assets for a particular STIG, that interface also has labels available and they're filterable. I'm kind of going over the same things uh, for, for you guys. Uh, in the reports, the status report shows labels where there's an asset and the findings report, once we get to a point where we are showing assets, we will show labels as well. I'm randomly clicking and some of these assets don't have, um, <laughs> don't have labels. So that, in the interest of being brief, that is the preview of the label feature. We hope you find it useful. This came from community uh, request and community feedback. So, and we're looking forward to additional feedback on where this feature could be uh, uh, enhanced and used elsewhere in the UI. Thanks for watching and until next time.